Oh, hello everyone. Out of the first group, we got Aria, Raven, Finnick. And then we've also got Katniss and Pickles, who are having great fun in the trees, playing and doing Zoom meet. <laughs> um, yeah, the weather. We've had showers on this walk. It would like just drizzle, and now it looks like it's clearing up, which is good because I've got another group to walk. So, uh, <laughs> At least there's a bit clearer for that group. We're in a flood! Winnie! So, I've been trying to really clean up everybody's recall. So, they've all had practices today, which I'm really pleased with. Yes, you're all getting the hang of... Say, getting the hang of it. It's, recall is like a muscle that you've just got to keep flexing. And you've just got to keep training. And, you know, if they don't come and you don't sort of reinforce the fact that actually when I call you, you come, then your recall will gradually slip and gradually go downhill. So, yeah, you'd almost... It sounds silly, but if you can't recall your dog you're better off not trying and just going to get them because if you call them and fail and then they sort of get away with not recalling just yeah anyway it slips so I was considering the forestry today but I thought actually considering the weather the last few days and the lack of walking I need to focus on just getting everyone walked even if it is only the tips. So that's what we're currently doing. So I think I might join you with the next group or when we get a bit further down, because I don't really like filming coming down a relatively steep hill. You guys are on a mission right now, and you? I know Finnick will be, because the in-season girls are at home. So yeah, I think next walk is going to be pod... Lani, Phoebe, Pumpkin, and Jude. That is current plan. And then I'm going to get the in-season girls out while I muck out. Because um, obviously the horse has been in out of the rain too. <coughs> it's actually quite warm now. The sun's out. But like I said, we did just walk through a lot of drizzle, so... Look at me being a stereotypical British person talking about the weather. Um, I got an open show this weekend. I'm hoping I can still go. Um, but I'm going to see what Lanny's reaction is around jazz. Um, and then I'm going to just keep an eye on how swollen Nala is. So she may not go. Um, one, because she's quite the tart in season. But two, she is mega, mega swollen because she always goes big. This jazz isn't really that big. So, um, yeah. I believe she has cat found a plastic bottle. And she's looking for somewhere to hide it. Now, she's not Pumpkin's daughter. She's not seen Pumpkin do that before. But she has just hidden that plastic bottle in there. How the hell does she know to do that? None of my other dogs have ever picked up that behaviour from Pumpkin. She did it on the yard the other day. And Claire and I were like fascinated that she knew to do that. Um, so I've got to try and remember to film her next time we come up this part. Just to see if she remembers where she hid it. Um, because that's the full-on pumpkin behaviour. It's not just the picking it up and finding it somewhere appropriate to hide it. It's picking it up the next time you walk past that area and then moving it to somewhere else. So, 
It'll be really fascinating actually if she picks up the full behaviour range. So I've got Jude and Lanny and then Pumps, Pod and Phoebe are up ahead. So Pickles has done a little training session inside. And Jazz has done a little training session outside. Jazz, can you target? Pickles, target. Yes, good girl. I'm running low on treats. But we're doing a little bit of weight. Yeah. So just because they're in season doesn't mean they can't do some training. And just because they're a little monkey and they've already been for a walk doesn't mean they can't do some training. Good. Wait. Good girls. These are prettiful girls. So prettiful. Oh. Well done. Good girls. Good girls. Ready. Good. Okay. Them. Good. And twist. Good girl. Can you set? Good. Can you set? Says not mommy. Can you set? Jasmine, you've just been sitting. Good girl. Good. Let's go and get you some more sweeties, is there? So sweeties replenished. And we got a good little bit of walking by my side. Yeah. Good. But by having them sort of focusing on me, staying with me, see how she went to sit then? And I'm just working on getting her to not always sit um, by default because um, she's got her first little baby puppy class next month. So I just want to make sure it's in her head that she can sit when asked. But when she's not asked, we would like some standing. Um, and then I'm just going to practice having a little run next to her. Um, and a few other little just bits. I know she's going to be a little swine for wanting the lead. So we're going to have to do quite a bit of running without the lead. Just for her to really establish um that she doesn't have to bite the lead when I run next to her and it's not too exciting when I run next to her it's just running um and bits like that really just you know the performance element of showing is easy enough to teach them um I think, as in, like, they got to stand and they got to trot next to you. It's not a complicated thing to teach them as long as they've got good focus. Um, so all training, to me, works on um, their focus on you. So, um, that's a bit runny, madam. So yeah, it's just making sure you can just put all the elements together for the class. But um, I am going to leave this here and do a little bit of running next to them and a few bits like that and just have a little play while it's quiet up here, while she's had food, she's been for a walk, you know, she's quite chilled. Um, so yeah, your timing of your training sessions is good. Um, if you know your dog comes back from a walk really quite wild and quite wired, then that's not a good time for a training session. If you know your dog is always chilled in the evenings or in the mornings, pick a time when they're chilled. Make life easy for yourself initially and then gradually increase the difficulty. So anyway, I am going to leave this here and I shall see you all soon. Bye.